Hey everybody, it's Renee with CSB for you and me, and I have Ashley here with me today who works at Quentin's Place. Quentin's Place is a crisis stabilization unit, it's for mental health or for substance abuse, and it's male and female. How many beds do we have? We have 16. 16 beds. Okay, so tell me about your role at Quentin's Place. So um, I, I joined the team back in April, and I am a peer specialist. Um, I hold the groups for the consumers and... Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Peer specialist means... What does a peer specialist mean? Did you have lived experience? I have lived, yes. I'm, I'm a person with lived in the experience. So um, I am a you know, person on long-term recovery. Um, I have 28 months clean or free from drugs and alcohol. And... Um, <laughs> So I have that, that can, I can get that connection with a lot of, um, you know, our clients that, you know, some, someone that hasn't been through that situation might not understand. Um, I don't want to interrupt you, but I want our viewers to understand that that's a lot of the ways that Community Service Board of Middle Georgia works. Mm -hmm. We don't have these guys or women who sit around and read a bunch of books and are highly educated and they're going to sit there and tell you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. What we do is we find people who have... Um, been through what you're going through, who have experienced what you're experiencing, and they are a success story, um, because Ashley is a great success story, and she's the first face you see. She's the one that sits down and wants to console and talk with you to help you through the situation. So mm -hmm. I want the viewers to be able to realize, oh, well, I'm a peer specialist. What does that mean? Because it's a really big deal um, for her as an individual to get to that point to where she has experienced it and now she can help others. But also when you talk to somebody to get help with whatever you're going through, they're going to link you up with someone who has similar experiences. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. It I keep is. saying beautiful. But okay, so tell me how your um, schedule is. So I work, um, I usually work Monday through Friday. I have a set schedule. Uh, I do, there, we have three groups at Quentin's Place. We have a substance abuse, then we have a mental health, and then we have a combined where it's both of them. So we pick topics that it can relate to both substance abuse and mental health. Um, we do a lot of stuff for like relapse prevention, um, a lot of um, life skills and stuff. Like um, I've done one on like how to improve your listening skills. We've done um, assertiveness, how to speak assertively and not passively or aggressively. Um, you know, my mental health ones, we usually focus on on a diagnosis and treatment options and, you know, symptoms and signs so that they can help themselves um, be able to realize when they might have triggers or that kind of thing and when they might need to come seek help. So, And I think it's important to, to, for the, our viewers to see that um, you might have a mental health struggle like mm -hmm. depression or anxiety mm -hmm. um, and you might have a substance abuse challenge um, so we can um, address them individually mm -hmm. or together. together so you don't fit into one category or the mm -hmm. other if you're dealing with both we can help you with both mm -hmm. yeah we do have dual diagnosis um, and you know for those you know a lot of a lot of the mental health conditions you know, they do coincide with substance abuse or, you know, alcohol dependence because uh, a lot of times we use that as a coping skill, as a, one of our coping mechanisms through life. Mm -hmm. And it just gives us, you know, I mean, it causes us, you know, sometimes financial, legal, all kind of troubles that, you know, I mean, and we kind of help you address those too. Um, yeah, and it's only a five to seven day um, stay. What is that usually? Typically, um, the, like, if you're there for... Um, substance abuse is usually a detox. It's usually a five-day protocol, at least five to seven days. Um, and the mental health, it just really depends. It really varies. But yeah, typically it's five to seven days, but it can, I mean, it can be shorter or longer. Per individual yeah. situation. It's really individualized. So they come up with a treatment plan and everything for you. So the staff there is great. So. And then when you get done with your five to seven days um, and you are discharged, um, make sure I got this mm -hmm. right. You leave with a doctor's appointment, you leave with a counselor to where when you go back into the community, mm -hmm. you're able to still get that attention that you need to mm -hmm. from us. Um, I think that's build one mm -hmm. you'd go to to see your doctor and your therapist. But um, so we can stick with you mm -hmm. once you are discharged from Quinn's Place. Correct. And we have a discharge planner there. Um, so if you come in for substance abuse and you want 
um, long-term treatment. He will help get you placement and work with your financial situations. And we have, um, you know, AA and NA come in and Rise Up comes and does an all recovery meeting. Rise Up! Right? <laughs> um, so we try and help you find resources in the community as well. Um, you know, if you need meeting schedules or anything like that. Um, we do always have um, a follow-up appointment. Um, that's usually, um, and you'll get those before you leave. Um, and so, I mean, it's just, it's really, it's really a great. Yeah, it's a great mission. I think yeah. it is a mission. Um, so I thank you for what you do. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you with your, over your time of recovery. How, mm -hmm. does, how do you say that? For the amount of time you've been in recovery. So mm -hmm. stick to it. And um, you'll learn through some of our, of our ep next episodes and maybe even this one how um, we become a community, we become a, become a family because we support each other, encourage each other, mm -hmm. and keep each other in accountable. That's so right. um, we will come back after these few messages. Is your internet slowing your business down? If so, call the City of Dublin for our fiber optic based internet, 478-296-1008. Portions of this program are brought to you by Fairview Park Hospital, a leader in healthcare for Dublin Lawrence and surrounding communities, providing inpatient and outpatient surgery options and rehabilitation therapy services. Hey everybody, it's Renee with CSB for you and me, and I'm here with Tim to talk to you about Rise Up. Rise Up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. <laughs> That's it. We rise up. <laughs> um, tell us about your work here as a volunteer. Um, I pretty much um, just kind of be an ear for people. Um, I, um, I know what it's like to go through certain things. I've been through things in my life. And uh, so I, Rise Up really, really showed me a, a helping hand. So I just kind of want to do the same. And, you know, ever since, ever since I got involved, it's, it's, been a, it's been a real blessing to me. So. All right, now I've heard you say, so I'm going to share with our viewers mm -hmm. that you um, are a veteran. So yes, thank you for your service. Thank you. Um, and that you found Rise Up through the VA? Uh, yes, ma'am. A friend of mine, I was in the program there here at the VA in Dublin, and a friend of mine was telling me about Rise Up, and uh, I kind of liked what he was saying. So I said, well, let me check him out, man. Let's, let's see, you know, I want to see what's going on up there. And uh, like I said, I met Pam, and um, we, we hit it off great. Um, I got involved, and... Um, Ever since then, I've been hitting the ground running, man. I, uh, I You're love very helping. active. <laughs> the, uh, yes, I I've seen you at some of the activities. <laughs> um, everybody knows Tim's name. <laughs> Tim's in the play for the play that's coming up for Rise Up. Um, and I've, I've seen you almost just be a welcomer, a greeter at the door. Yeah, so. sometimes that's what we have to do, man, yeah. whatever it takes. <laughs> now, Rise Up, um, do you have to have insurance to come here? No, no, Rise Up is, is, is for the community. It's, it's, you know, we're here to assist the community. We, uh, you know, we don't take any funds from, from private, you know, from people. We're just here to, to assist the community, whatever need it is, man. Uh, so if you're having struggles with drugs or alcohol mm -hmm. and you want a good group of friends that's a clean group of friends in yes. a clean environment to hang out, Rise Up's the place Rise to Rise Up is the place. You come walk through the door, you sign in just so we can get a head count. That's it. There's no insurance. There's no release of information. There's no, no paperwork to, ha to no. fill out. You just come in. Get you a cup of coffee. That's right. Um, sometimes they have food. Oh yeah, we have food. Well, a lot of times we have food in us. So um, yeah, you just and you're welcome to it. Whatever's in the kitchen, we just ask you just you know clean up behind yourself and whatever's in there, man, you eat it. And yeah. I think um, one thing I want to make sure, and maybe you can help me, is I know that there's a lot of support within our community for Rise Up, mm, yes. and I have seen the women's group for the Methodist Church bring yes. goodies oh, and those snacks. Ladies are awesome. Um, yes. Our CEO's mama, yes. she oh, comes and brings cook. us snacks <laughs> yes. and, and all kinds of goodies. So I want to make sure, especially if you can think of a specific group that might support Rise Up, we need to recognize them and show appreciation. I know the Methodist Church. And yes, those ladies are at the Methodist Church are amazing. and. Um, even our local police department here, um, they, they support and um, we're actually trying to get into the jails to start uh, helping, you know, trying to, trying to meet people there and get them tied in soon as, so when they get out of there, they have a place to go and not just 
released back on the street and there's nothing to help, you know. So we really want to thank the Dublin Police Department for trying to make that happen. Thank so yeah, you. there's a lot. There's yeah. a lot going on. We got a lot of people, churches, yeah. Yeah. And, and let's talk about some activities. I have seen Super Bowl parties here, Thanksgiving yes. parties here, mm -hmm. craft parties, oh, like yeah. painting parties. Mm -hmm. What's some other stuff? Oh, what do we have? Oh, man, well, the New Year's party, that was great. I actually got roped into uh barbecuing that day. I just came to, you know, hang out and, uh, you know, I ended up cooking like 200, <laughs> yeah, 200 hamburgers. So, but it was, it was awesome. Yeah, it was great, man. I, it's so many people not using on that night, you know, uh, as a, as a former addict, that was a night that I, you know, you, you wouldn't see me, <laughs> you know, if you saw me, I was out there, man. But, but last year when last you were the grill year, master, that yes. was the best New Year's ever. That was ever. the best New Year's ever. And I remembered it, <laughs> you know, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah. And, and we're laughing at being silly, but yeah. it is a huge accomplishment. Huge, so I want to say yes. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. I yes. think it's an amazing thing. And I know that people are watching you as a volunteer and mm. as a board member um, to where it does keep you accountable. Absolutely, yes. Now yes. tell me with these events or these activities, can we bring kids or if we got kids yes or, um is it family? You, you, are, you are more than welcome to bring your children even when you come here the only thing we ask is that you know you monitor your kids um you have to be you know 18 or over to be here alone with by yourself but yeah if you have kids bring them along man if you're going to be here hanging out eating watching tv we have a family room we watch movies so yeah basketball court basketball hall. yeah uh, softball. Yeah, I play. Yeah, oh, yeah, play they play yeah. softball. Yeah, they're on softball team. <laughs> and there's a fire pit in the back. Yeah, there's a fire pit, So yes. winter, gosh, can't wait for winter <laughs> yes. to get here. Um, so we can do fire pits and yes. s'mores and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's a serious place where we it get is, together. And there are different kinds of meetings. Can you tell us about yeah. the different kind of meetings? Um, well, we have, um, we just recently added an NA meeting. That's, that's uh, Narcotics Anonymous. We have an AA meeting. Um, and we have an all recovery meeting, and that's just for anybody who don't really fit in a, any of those categories, but still know someone who's dealing with issues or have issues themselves. The all recovery meeting is definitely for you, uh, and you can you're free to talk about whatever it is, whether it's your faith, whether it's NA, AA. There's no um, there's no rules when it comes to all recovery meetings. So. Yeah. And we have Bible studies. Yes, Bible studies. That's right. I've heard there's yoga before. Yes, I, I, don't, I don't do the yoga, but it's, the, it's oh. here. <laughs> it's here, yes. Yeah. Um, what else? There's a coffee. There's so much coffee so much around coffee. here. So those who are trying to fight addiction mm. um, and love coffee, we yeah, got coffee. We got the coffee. We got the coffee. <laughs> yes. We keep talking about how Rise Up is a family. Sure. Yeah. And we keep talking about how we keep each other accountable. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start crying. Please tell our viewers about your recent accomplishment. Oh, oh I, I thought I was going to get away with that one. <laughs> no, um, just a brief little uh, history. Um, I've been an addict for over 15 years, mm -hmm. and I lost my driver's license right after I got out of the military, and that was about 16 years ago uh, due to, you know, my addiction. And uh, I haven't owned a car in, in about 15, 16 years. And just last Friday, yeah. God blessed me with my license, got my license back, and I bought a new car. It's, it's not a brand new car, but to me it's brand new. It's a 2015. It's nice. And it's really beautiful. I love it. It's got all the bells and whistles. So I'm just really and truly grateful. And that's, that's just one of the things that, that recovery does for us, you know, when, when, when we do the right thing. And, uh, and I just, you know, personally, I just keep my faith in God, and uh, it works out for me. I didn't want to put pressure on That's you. That's okay. Yes, but we right. need to keep each other, like celebrate. You yes, celebrate. Absolutely. Celebrate recovery. That's what it celebrate. is. Celebrate. Yes. And so um, if you haven't seen, Rise Up does have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And we keep activities and different things that are going right. on. But also you can see Tim on there with his new ride. <laughs> and his keys. Ride. <laughs> And so um, when someone within our family achieves a goal yes, yes. we celebrate and so i don't like i said i didn't want to put pressure on you Not but i think it's a beautiful thing and well, you should you. be proud because we are proud of you i'm, I'm grateful dublin <laughs> my viewers are proud of you so thank you thank you um, <laughs> that's james clapping in the background we're excited so thank good job so Tim. okay you. now we can go to break <laughs> now we go to break bye
I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got to uh, able to do some ultrasound guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space, so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Hey everyone, it's Renee with CSB for you and me. And today I want to make sure you know about our place called Rise Up, Rise Up, Rise Up. <laughs> we do that a lot around here. Rise Up stands for recovering in a supportive environment utilizing peers. This is Pam Ranky. Hello. <laughs> rise Up, say it one more time. Rise stands Up. Oh, Rise Up. <laughs> Rise Up is an acronym. Say it again. Rise Up is a recovery in supportive environment utilizing peers. Utilizing peers. We talk about this a lot because that means we don't have somebody who has never experienced this saying this is what you should do. You've got to do this or you ain't going to be right. That's right. We have people who have lived experience. Can you explain what lived experience is? Right, we don't have any doctors or any clinicians here at this building. It's all one-on-one -on -one peer support. Um, for me, my name is Pamela, and I'm a person in long-term recovery. What that means for me is it's almost been nine years, um, November of this year, since I was set free of drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. So we just uh, meet you wherever you are. We offer all sorts of meetings here in AAA. Um, we do a Messy People Bible study on Thursdays, First United Methodist church the ladies from there they come in and they host that um, we have a coffee shop area we have a computer room where we can help you apply for a job um, we can help you resume build um, we also uh, can help you get your birth certificate we want to try to get you work ready help you to be a productive member in the Dublin community that's a big deal so um, if you're one in recovery and you can't seem to get a job or you can't you don't even know where to start on a resume come on in you don't, do you have to have an appointment? You don't, you don't. Just walk on in. Just walk in the door. Take that first step. Okay, so we talked about resumes, computers, birth certificates, all that. Okay, let's go to the next room, the gym. Right, we have a free gym. Everything here is free. You can come work out anytime that you want. Um, we're open every day of the week except for Monday. That's a treadmill, elliptical. There's a TV in there. Um, what else is in there? Weights. Right. For, so men and women, there's, there's space for everybody to do all that. So if you need to exercise, maybe that's a good stress relief cope me coping mechanism, right. um, then check out the gym. Okay, so the next room is one of our favorite rooms. We have the pool room. Um, they love the pool room. They can come in and shoot pool. Um, if it's football season, they can stay in there and watch their football games. There's a TV in there games. too. Yep, there's a TV in there. Um, and, and my favorite part, the music. Mm -hmm. Right. There's a guitar, there's drums. We have two guitars, we have bongo drums, we also have a keyboard. And it has its own little nook, it has its own little area. Is there a microphone in there too? There's not. But y'all have like, not necessarily karaoke, but singing and sharing. Sometimes you can share with the group through music. Right. So we have the equipment or the instruments here to use for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next room, oh maybe that's my favorite room kitchen yes we have help yourself kitchen we try to have a hot meal um, every day whenever you come in we have plenty of water pl plenty of coffee and like I said we have those wonderful pe people in the community that step in and help us um, the ladies from First United Methodist um, our wonderful CEO Miss Denise Forbes her mom Miss Betty Jean she spoils us mm -hmm. with sweets and goodies and um, we just we've had a lot of support from the community and hope to make more connections and more collaborations. So that might be it um, while we're going through the tour of, of the building that might be a need so if there's a group that wants to help support with food a lot of times you need to make sure people's bellies are full before they can really focus on their um, addictions and things like that. So if you know of a group or if you yourself like to cook, um, you can get in touch with Pam. What's your phone number, Pam? Uh, the phone number here is 478-353-1188. And if you just want to come on by and check out the place, it's 621 Academy Avenue, Dublin, Georgia. So 
I, I really want to share what we can offer for the community, but we also have needs within. So sometimes if you want to cook something, maybe a, a crock pot of soup, or um, I've seen them eat that around here and it seems to be a win. Um, snacky stuff. Um, there is a way that you as a ministry, as an, an individual in the community can support Rise Up. Okay, so let's go to the next room. After the kitchen is... Um, we have a gaming room. We have a lot of gamers that come through that like to play Xbox and Wii and different things like that. So all that's set up for games. There's cool chairs in there. Um, there's even some children's chairs in there. So let's talk about the fact of what if I have two or three kids, but I need to come to a meeting. Right. We want mom, dad to have that free time um, for their self. Usually our meetings, whether it's NAAA Bible study, only last around about an hour. So we do have that room and we will help you with your children while you're here so you can get that much needed time for yourself. And I've just witnessed that as we came here today to, sh to film the show. Um, a mom came in with her little toddler literally and another girl was like girl give it to me I'll watch her and That's she right. stayed right here in the building and she stayed right across the hall and they played and mama was able to get the attention she wants okay so let's jump so we got the gamer room and then we move to the other what's the we next have one? a family room um, a lot of the moms from abundant life where I volunteered for many years before this job came about they would say Pam we can't take our kids to the movie because it's so expensive mm -hmm. so the family room came about from them they can come in bring their children or just their self and just you know sit on the, the couch and relax and, and that's a nice couch. stuff on TV. It's yeah. a big old couch. Everybody can sprawl out everywhere. So, um, okay. And then we are now in what? What is this room? This is the art room now. Okay. We got so big we had to expand. So this is now our art room and it's beautiful. It's nice. The floors where we can, if we get paint on the floor, it's okay. Right. Um, and the chairs are really cool, fashionable. And you said we're growing or you, we've outgrown the the base floor I guess so now we're upstairs we are we just recently put our stairs back in they were here originally and we decided that we were wasting a lot of space um, it was hard cramming 30 or 40 people into a meeting so upstairs it's very comfortable we can fit about 40 people in there comfortably it's got its own coffee pot and so it's just Lots really helped for privacy too so if there's a big group here for a meeting kind of yeah. you always level in the privacy hey my name is Chloe Zickley I do paintings for the angel babies I raised $2,040 last year, and that all went to charity to the Salvation Army. If you are interested in getting one, you can come to the Carlotta V. Stubbin, right across from the Dairy Queen. And I'm here with Melissa, a recovery coach here at Rise Up. Rise Up. <laughs> she ain't got it yet. Rise Up. Rise, Rise up. up. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So, Melissa, tell us a little bit about who you are and how you got this job position. Um, my name is Melissa. I'm 37 years old. I started using drugs when I was around 15. Um, I walked in on my aunt using, and I used with her so she wouldn't, so I wouldn't run back and tell. Um, from then on, it was just like first it was here and there, and then by the time I got 25, it was every day. Um, when I was around 32, I went to the Potter's house, and in Griffin, Georgia, mm -hmm. and um, there I learned a lot about God, and he broke the chains of addiction for me, and after that, I became the house mother for a year up there and worked with the program, and then I moved back down here and got the job here. It was just a miracle. I was getting my hair done, actually, at the beauty shop, and this woman was like, you're the house mother at the Potter's house, and I was like, yeah, I was. I just moved back, and she said, do you want a job in recovery? I was like, sure. So I sent her my resume, and then Tina called me from building one, and here I am. We're going to have to get Tina on the show because we keep talking about Tina, and yes. Tina has not been on my show yet. So, Tina, we are coming to talk to you. So, how long have you worked here at Rise Up? I've worked here um, since October of last year. October of 2018? Mm -hmm, when it first opened. Okay. So, you've been here for a while, almost a whole oh, year. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have to celebrate a know, year right? of employment here. And, and celebrate rise recovery. <laughs> yeah, rise up. How long have they been here for about a year, too? Mm -hmm. So you started when, with Pam, mm -hmm. with when Pam as the first yes. first part, the first team of Rise yes. Up, I guess. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your roles. Are you, aren't you like the activities coordinator or speaker coordinator or something? Yes. I set up different activities for the month. Um, usually we go to the movies or we go bowling. We have different people in here to give their testimonies and just to help spread hope. 
We have NAAA, cele um, not Celebrate Recovery, but we do take a group to One Way in Eastman on Friday nights. So there's Bible studies on Thursdays, trips yes. to, what's Friday night? One Way. One Way. Oh, yeah, it's like a service. It's mm -hmm. a church service for those in recovery, right? right? Okay, so one thing that we did not talk about with Pam, but I think it's very important, we do have a Rise Up Facebook. Yes. So there's a lot of activities. A and lot we put of everything on Facebook, anything that's going on, anything in the community that's going on, job openings, everything. It's so like if you know of a place that's got some job openings or you know of an activity that um, Rise Up could participate in, you can message us on Facebook. Isn't it just Rise Up? Yes, is Rise our Up, Dublin, Georgia. Rise Up Dublin, Georgia, and Melissa, you coordinate that page, right? We all do. We all, they all do. Mm -hmm. So just message them, private message them, and let them know what's going on, and they can put that stuff on our Facebook. Yes. That's part of the activities and things going mm -hmm. on. I naturally just think, oh, Melissa, give it to Melissa. She yeah. <laughs> so um, it, maybe um, t to share with the community and our viewers, um, those who are in recovery that might need somewhere to go or might want to share their story, how do yes, they get in touch with you? they just contact me and we'll put them on the calendar. How do they contact you? On um, Facebook or they can just stop by or they stop. can call Rise Up. And we will make sure that you can get involved with Rise Up as you can. Yes. So do you have any, are there requirements to be part of Rise Up? The only thing we ask is for you to be 24 hours clean. 24 hours yes. clean. That, that is important. I hadn't even thought about that. If this is um, a building for those to come to to stay in recovery, um, it might not be the right place to come when you are drunk right. or high right. or whatever. Right. And if that does happen, we usually pull them to the side outside and see if they need placements, like if they want to go to Quentin's place or, you know. So, so you're prepared as a team on oh, how yes. to handle someone who comes in. And maybe they come up here because they're looking for help. Right. So it's not something we shun them for, but we just want no. to make sure that the environment's we, clean. We try, you know, we never turn anyone away here because we know what it's like to be turned away because in addiction, we were turned away. You know, you know, honestly, people didn't want you around. You know, they, you know, get away, mm -hmm. you know, don't come in here. So we know what that feels like. So um, you have a process and yes. a way of handling it. Mm -hmm. um, so be confident and comfortable if you come to participate at the Rise Up yes. that you will be in a clean environment. And those who come that might not be clean at the moment, we can help you find the resources and the support you need to where you can come back tomorrow and hang out That's with right. us. <laughs> and then you start your journey and we'll help you count down and support you and right. keep you accountable. Um, so thank you, Melissa, for coming. Right, I appreciate you. you. And keep Keep doing what you're doing, okay? okay? <laughs> All right, thank, thank you. you. Dublin Ford Lincoln is honored to call many well-respected and wonderful people our friends. Burt Thigpen is one of those friends. It's just an easy process for me because they, they're with you when you buy it, but the main thing, they're with you when you, after you buy it, then they give you the service after you buy it. And that makes, to me, that's, that's three factors that, um, that I really look at. And they've done that ever since I've been here. Others call you customers, we call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. I'm here with Heather at Rise Up. Rise Up. Oh, Heather, you did it better than anybody today, so I'm very, very thankful. That's Renee's version of Rise Up. I like to say that and be silly, okay? Um, but so when you go around a bunch of Rise Up people and you hear Rise Up, Rise Up, you got it, okay? So Heather, if you will, tell our viewers who you are and what your role is here at Rise Up. My name is Heather King. I'm a certified peer specialist uh, at Rise Up. And what I do is I help people to mentor them with addiction issues and alcohol issues. Um, my license is with Georgia Mental Health Consumer Network. is where I was licensed to be a certified peer specialist. And I help get people into detox, rehabs. I do all recovery meetings. I am the dual diagnosis uh, meeting person. What that means that um, if you have a struggle or challenge with addiction of any sort and you have a mental health challenge, we're able to address both of those needs in um, kind of a personalized way. But it, you're not just one or the other. If you are majorly depressed or have really bad anxiety and you are having a problem or struggle with addiction, um, we can address both of those as I well. I can address that because I myself am dual diagnosis. So another example of how we approach people is 
I've been there, I've done that. And Heather is a great story to share that. If you've never heard Heather's story, then you need to come to Rise Up and talk to her. We don't have time to do it today, <laughs> but she is remarkable. Thank you. And, um, and I try to share with our viewers how we are kind of like a family yes. and how we keep each other accountable. Yes. But we also support each other. Yes. So we're all in this fight together. Exactly. Um, Tell me what a day at Rise Up looks like for you. Well, on a day at Rise Up, I come in and I perform the opening procedures or the closing procedures. Um, I do peer support with whoever walks in the door and I meet them where they're at. No matter what issue or problem they have, you know, I'll sit down and work it out with them. If they need to find a job, we'll go to the internet cafe and I'll sit down and I'll help them write a resume. We'll fax that resume off or we'll shoot it off on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, if they need something to eat, we'll sit down and eat. If they need to pray about something, we'll sit down and we'll ask God to help them with whatever their issue is. You know, just, we do all recovery meetings, or there'll be an NA meeting, or an AA meeting, or an Overeaters Anonymous meeting. You know, if, if, if it's Saturday at 5, we'll do a dual diagnosis meeting. Just, you know, whatever they need, we're here for them. And there's a fire pit in the back. There absolutely is a fire pit. Sometimes we'll have our meetings out there at the fire pit, Sometimes we'll just go out there and make s'mores, you know, just whatever. Tell me how you found Rise Up. I actually found Rise Up when I was in a program called the Mickham Program. And that is the VA's version of those with a severe mental illness. And I had a case manager named Sally Watson Hall. I spoke at the 2018 Mental Health Summit where I received a standing ovation. And then my case manager, Sally Watson Hall, brought me to the Suicide Coalition Voices of Hope meeting where I again gave my testimony, and that's where I met Tina Clements. And it was here at Rise Up is where the meeting was, and I was impressed with what I saw, and I knew I wanted to be a part of it. I was going to be working on putting in my application for certified peer specialist, but I knew that I, I really wanted to be a part of this because I knew that my story could, could help somebody else because it was so profound. I've been through many things in my life, and I knew that whether it was somebody who'd been raped or somebody who was seriously addicted to drugs or somebody that had a very bad mental health disorder, I knew that with my story, I could reach out to somebody, you know, a veteran, somebody who had an alternate lifestyle. I could do all that, and I knew that this place needed me. So the next day, I came back and asked Pam if I could volunteer here, and I did. I volunteered from December to June, and then I was hired June 1st. So we keep talking about this, but it's very serious, and we really, really mean it, that if you are struggling with drugs or addiction, come to Rise Up. Please. Walk in the front door. There's no cost. There's no paperwork. This is not a clinical place where doctors are. It is a social group. It is a realm of peers who just want to love you, to say, hey, man, I've been there. I've done that. Um, let me show you how, how we cope with things. Let me show you how um, we kind of redirect our attention and how, because of doing that, we have been successful in life and we're happy. We're happier now. Um, and it's possible. So I want you to make sure you remember Heather's face, Heather's name. And when you come to Rise Up, Heather will be here to talk to you. Absolutely. She has a passion and she has a heart because she has been there and she wants to help others in any way I can yeah so I thank you for your time Heather mm -hmm. and I really appreciate what you're doing here and I just want to encourage you to keep shining because you know how far you've come I've mm -hmm. known how far you've come and if you want to understand how far Heather's come then come talk to her she can talk about herself till you feel comfortable enough to talk about yourself and she will be there to help guide you and support you and then we can celebrate everybody's accomplishments exactly. together yep thank you Heather thank you all right, we'll see you after these messages. Thank you everyone for watching CSB for you and me. And I wanna take a serious time, take a serious moment and make sure you see that we are really sincere about the services that Rise Up provides. September is recovery month. And this whole entire month, we're gonna be looking at and focusing and educating you through my show on recovery and how recovery is real. These people that I interviewed today are not paid actors. These are not people who are just here for a job. 
These people are remarkable. They're people that you will never ever experience or have any kind of connections to unless you come to Rise Up. And we are blessed in our community to be able to have these individuals who have been so strong and get through recovery and then turn around and wanna help people. That is the whole purpose of our show of CSB for you and me. And I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you feel comfortable and confident enough to reach out for help. I hope you see the, the purpose and the reason why I do this show, why CSB for you and me is here, and why it's very important even for TV 35. This is a serious topic. It is everywhere in our in our community, in our state, in the world. Drugs is a huge situation. And I just wanna thank you for watching the show. I want you to see how real the situation is and how earnest we are with wanting to help people. So thank you, and I hope to see you at Rise Up. Rise Up! Rise Up! Rise Up! <laughs>